Okay, hi everybody. In this video, we're looking at the uh, plant hormone gibberellin and the genetic control of stem elongation. Okay, so gibberellin is a hormone. It's a plant hormone, which is a growth promoter. Now, these studies were done particularly with pea plants. And if you look at pea plants, there are two phenotypes to do with their height. You can have dwarf pea plants, which have a dwarf or a shorter stem, and you can have tall plants. Okay, so we've got two distinct phenotypes. Now, the difference in height is a result of the distance between the internodes. So the internodes is where leaves develop as the stem grows. And in a dwarf stem, um, the gaps between the internodes are very small. And in tall stem plants, the gap between the internodes is bigger. Now, this is genetically controlled. Okay, so the dwarf stem phenotype and the tall stem phenotype are determined by their genotype. However, if you take some of the active form of gibberellin, this particular plant hormone, and if you add it to a plant, so you just put it on the plant um, which has the dwarf stem um, phenotype and genotype, then it will get bigger. So the chemical gibberellin promotes the growth even if the plant has the dwarf stem phenotype and genotype. So if this is genetically controlled, we need to understand how the genetics links to this gibberellin. So it's all because of um, a gene uh, which is the LE gene. Okay, so LE stands for length. So there are two alleles. The first allele, so the big LE, codes for um, a functional enzyme. So the presence of the, uh, so this is the dominant allele, this codes for a functional enzyme, and that functional enzyme is responsible for taking an inactive form of gibberellin which is sort of like the start of the, the pathway and making it into, turning it into the active form of gibberellin. So you need this enzyme to be able to produce our active gibberellin and to get the enzyme, you need the dominant LE allele. The recessive LE allele codes for a non-functional enzyme. So this enzyme doesn't work. As a result, that inactive gibberellin does not continue along the pathway to become the active form. So you don't get any active gibberellin produced. As a result, if you have a plant which has the homozygous recessive phenotype, okay, so small le, small le, this plant will not produce any active gibberellin. And as a result, we end up with a dwarf stem. However, if you have a plant which is homozygous dominant or heterozygous and therefore still has one of the dominant alleles, this plant with either of these two genotypes will produce the functional enzyme and therefore it will produce the active gibberellin and therefore it has a tall stem. Okay, that's it. Short and sweet. Thanks very much.